Hello and welcome to this short presentation of one of the new features in NAV 2018, which is the ability to calculate item charge assignments by weight or volume. To do this, there is a little bit of setup required on the item card. So to demonstrate this, I have created two new items, one for a, one for a gold bar and the other for a silver bar. If I have a look at the silver bar first, I can see that I've added a gross weight figure of 1 and a unit volume of 0.5. If I also then look at the gold bar, same two fields but different values this time. The gross weight is 10 and the unit volume is 1. I'm now going to add this onto a sales order. This functionality does also work on purchase documents as well, but I'm going to demonstrate it on a sales order. So I shall go to a sales order, select one that I'd recently started to work on, and I'm now going to add these items as lines to this particular order. So the first one will be the gold bar. And to make the calculations easier to demonstrate, I'm going to have a quantity of 1. That brings through its unit price of 200. And I'm also going to add the silver bar. Again, a quantity of 1. Then my third line is going to be my charge item for freight costs. from this drop down I'm going to select the freight charges for sales and again I'm going to have a quantity of one and this time I'm going to have the cost of 10 pounds. Now on this line I could then allocate the item charge assignments. Now you'll notice that the option that comes up has the standard suggest item charge assignments which was in previous versions of, of NAV but this time there are two extra options on here by weight and by volume. So if we use the existing functionality we could assign the item charge equally as the charge is quantity 1 and the cost is 10 then the quanti quantity to assign is half of the unit and the amount to assign is five pounds. Similarly if I choose to select the by amount this is calculated by the line costs, the unit price on the lines 200 and 100 dividing those equally as a ratio would give me a three to two sorry a two to three ratio now the new functions by weight, if I calculate this, I can see on the items that I have, the gold bar has a weight of 10, let's assume that's 10 kilograms, and the silver bar has a weight of 1. The ratio of those is, in this case for the silver bar, 1 to 11, and for the gold bar is 10 elevenths. So that's automatically calculated in the quantity to, the, to assign and also for the amount to assign on those particular ratios. Similarly, if I take it by volume, in this case, the unit volume for the gold bar was 1 and for the silver bar was 0.5. So the ratios of those are then calculated through and displayed in the quantity to assign and the amount to assign fields. Once I've chosen the amounts that I want to, uh, to apply, I press OK, and that's automatically calculated and applied in the background. Now similarly, if I go back to the gold bar, I have set up a unit of measure on there of pallet. I'll just quickly show that for you. 
So if I navigate through to the units of measure, for the gold bar I have a pallet and on a pallet there's a hundred gold bars. If I now go back to my sales order and just quickly change the unit of measure to a pallet, I now have a much bigger ratio because I've got a hundred bars of gold and just one bar of silver. If I go onto the charge item assignments and do the similar sort of thing but this time just purely on the uh, just demonstrate on by weight I can see then that the weight calculation because the gross weight is a thousand for the gold bars on the pallet just one kilogram for the silver bar so the ratios are much much different this time so it does apply through on the unit of measure transformations as well Okay, thank you for watching this video which is one of a series of the new features within NAV 2018 so please do take a look at our YouTube channel to explore the others that are available to you.